Hey, what's up guys? I'm here with my friend Kuhn, who is learning the Thai language. This Someone is Kuhn. Me. He's a weirdo. <laughs> um, and we are going to demonstrate the game Other Tongue. And so I just did a review on this game, and uh, I just want to give you a demonstration of what the gameplay is like. Um, so we played this game, we did one practice round, um, one practice game, and... Um, we think we understand the rules now. We're still working through it, so, um, yeah, we're gonna try to play a full game now. Oh, we probably should have, uh, said what languages we're playing in. Uh, I'm playing in French. And I am playing in Thai. Okay, I'll start. Alright. So I'm going to start off by playing a card, I'm gonna play a card named Net. Okay. So Net says, once during your turn, you must say a tongue twister in your other tongue. Your other tongue is referring to the language you are learning, not your not your mother tongue, which is the language you grew up speaking. Right. Uh, or turn down one of your animals or characters. If you say a tongue twister successfully, you may pass Net to a, another player, turn it down, or discard it. So I'm just going to play that, and I'm not going to use its ability. Okay. And I'm going to end my turn. Gotcha. So then it goes to me. Draw a card. Alright. Um, now which one of these am I going to play? Okay, well, I don't have a whole lot I can do right now, but I'm going to play Kingdom. Kingdom is a location card. It's red, which I guess that means it's red as fire. fire. Okay. Anyways, Kingdom says, once during your turn, you must speak the name of a country in your other tongue. Or discard Kingdom. Your characters stay on a 4+. So once during my turn, I must speak the name of a of a country. All right, and I'm gonna say les États-Unis, which is the United States. Okay. And it does nothing for me. It just <laughs> protected my card. Go ahead. All right. So I will draw for my second turn. Mm, those are words I need to learn. So yeah, the the, the interesting thing about this game is it makes you think about a lot of different vocabulary words that you never thought about learning and you also struggle because you you'll go oh i know that word yeah, go, yeah. Ah, i know that word yeah, ah, yeah i know yeah. that word okay like i know a tongue twister i just can't remember the third part of it at the moment i am going to play frozen frozen says that if i can translate the name of one of his cards into my other tongue that he it will freeze his next turn so he won't be able to use it oh. or you if you do so you must turn that card and frozen down okay so it shuts both those cards down both my frozen card and his card that he wants to use so say if i want to destroy one of his characters but i'm afraid kingdom will affect it if i can say kingdom in thai mm -hmm. i'll turn that card down and my card my frozen down but he will not be able to use kingdom to protect right. his people and then i don't know <laughs> I'm not sure if the rules were super clear, but I was under the impression that it's like Magic the Gathering, where at the end of your turn, your cards turn back up again, but it doesn't say that in here, I don't think. So we were just playing that your card stays down. Uh, but Matt, if I'm wrong about that, you can correct us. In the comments. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's all you're going to do for this turn? Yeah. No. Okay. I, mean, I can't do anything. Then it goes for me to draw. All right, uh, but I don't have a creature, so... All right, I'm gonna put Death Watch. If one of your cards was just discarded and you can translate that card's name into another language, you may divide that card's total point value amongst any number of characters on the field. So essentially, if he kills off one of my cards, then I get to give those points to one of my other cards. And I have to say the name of a country in French, and I'm going to say Le Canada. Canada. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to draw. Oh, also, by the way, now, if he didn't believe me that Canada is the name for Canada in French, at any time he has the option to challenge uh which means that we're going to go online look up the word 
and I have to prove that the word that I said actually means what I say it means. Um, and if I fail, okay, so that's a challenge. Then it says, at, the, at last, the person who is proven wrong, be it the challenger or challengee, must discard one of their cards from either their field, hand, or deck. Uh, so essentially, if he challenges me and he proves that I was bluffing about what the word means, then I have to discard one of my cards. And if he challenges me and it turns out that I was right, he then has to discard one of his cards. Operation. And occasionally, <clears throat> I've gotten cards so far that I don't quite understand. Uh, I'm going to blame me on that, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and play Undyne. I'm going to play my first character card. Character cards seem to be the only cards you can kill. Maybe we haven't read the rule book right, uh, but it seems like all your cards continuously stay in play until for something forces them off the field. I believe that's correct. I think I said that in the rule book. Okay, and so I'm going to play Undyne, and I can't use Undyne's effect right now, so I'm going to uh, end my turn. Cool. Um, I'm going to draw. All right, what does this card do? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, although I still don't have a character, so none of these characters... Huh, I have a lot of stuff that like helps your characters, but I don't have any characters. Got a lot of words that I didn't even learn. Yeah. <laughs> also, I didn't see it in the rule book, but I, the assumption would be that you oh, can't. Oh, this is, oh, this this card is brutal. Ooh, okay. Um, But I can't play it because then it would destroy me just as much as it would destroy you. Well, might as well. <laughs> Let it ride. Uh, I, oh gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to read this card because I'm not going to play it because I can't. Uh, once, okay, it's Wildwood. Once during their turn, all players must discard one of their non-Earth cards unless they can speak the name of a tree species in their other tongue. And I can honestly say, I don't think I know how to say any species of trees in French. Oak? Maple? I should know how to say maple because it's like the... I'm so glad you don't know how to say the names of trees in French! <laughs> it's the... Uh. Um... Unless we're talking about fruit trees, I guess I could say fruit like... Fruit tree's a fruit tree. That's true. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Apple tree. Banana tree. Okay. I'm going to hold on, though. I'm going to hold on. Did you have this in the last game? No, I actually oh. read that while we were playing oh, for the game. yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to play a card. I have nothing I can do. Go ahead. I will note to you. That each card on the field is worth a point. That's true. So if there's a card that you wouldn't mind putting out there and potentially right. risking, like a card that might not benefit you, right? but it wouldn't hurt you to play because it's one more point. Always remember, if you don't play, you're not gaining points. True. But at the same time, some of these cards like give you extra requirements every turn. Like Because I played that first turn. Oh, yeah. What's your what's your kingdom? Uh, La France. <laughs> I got it. I know what it is. Don't worry. <laughs> That'll be that one needs uh, explanation. Okay, I'm going to play Mortar and Pedestal. Mortar and Pestle. Once during your turn, if you can say the name of a plant in your other tongue, you may add one point or subtract one point from any character on the field. Oh, and you do have a character, so I'm going to subtract a point from him by saying, oh, now I already used this word in the last game. If you've used a word... Uh, not not in different games, but if you've used a word in this game to activate a uh, card's abilities, you cannot use the word again unless you're using a different language. Right. Uh, I'm going to say uh, fleur, which is flower. Now, I don't remember reading this in the rules, but I feel like when you activate your card, you have to turn it down. I do right? not think that is a truth. Okay. But this is uh, once during your turn, so you can only do it once, and you can do it every turn. Right, yeah, you're right. Okay, gotcha. For, I do remember this in the rules. When the card is turned down, it cannot be turned... The phrase is turned down. So yeah. when it's turned down... It means tapping, if, if you play Magic the Gathering. Yeah, if it's turned down... If it's turned down, you can't turn it back up again unless another card has the ability to activate it. And so, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and draw, and then I'll start my turn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play Windmill. 
Windmill ha is not going to have an effect at the moment, but Windmill says once during your turn, if you have another car air card besides Windmill, you may require every player to pass one of their cards to clockwise to the player seated to the left. So this is a multiplayer game. Um, there's some suggestions about how many people and how many cards you can play with. Um, but that essentially means we're just passing a card to one another if we play. If we right. play with two players. Right. Uh, but you... Uh, to the seated, So I would have to pass one card, whatever it is, to a player seated to my left. Can you... Are you going to do anything? Uh, no, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Now, the rules in this game seem pretty complex if you're not into card games. Uh, it's not... Doesn't seem complex compared to like magic or some of those, but um, um, just to let you know. Okay, well, now I have a character. Yep, uh, I'm gonna play a druid, which is um, at the beginning of your turn, before you draw a card, you may look at the top card of any deck and either move it to the bottom of the deck or put it back on the top. Okay. Um, so before I draw, I'll just put, the, I'll, so essentially I'm just drawing that card then, uh, or putting it on the bottom. Um, and it stays on a four plus, so if he's going to do something to it, then I get to roll a dice and potentially protect it. No, um, it, if I have an earth location, which I don't, I have okay. a fire location. All right. Uh, and once during your turn, if you can say the name of a plant in your other tongue, I'm going to say... Arbre, which is a tree, and I'll give her a plus one. Once again, I'm not sure if this counts as a plant. A tree? A tree is a plant. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Um, so what's what are your pluses right now? I just have one. You just so, have a plus one? Yeah. So, so maybe let's... I better get a piece of paper to write this down on you got some post-its around here, some mini post-its or something. Yeah, just write Druid plus okay. one or something like that. Or no, I'm just going to rip off a piece of paper and put it on her. Druid is plus, plus one. Oh, and your guy is minus one. From the from fleur for last turn. I don't think they can die. No, okay, so it starts at There's, one, so this makes it a zero. Right. Yeah, that's what I... So this token means he goes down once, which yeah. would put him at zero. All right, um, I have to say a country, and I'm gonna say La Mexique. I'm gonna assume that's Mexico. Yes, sir. And uh, you done with your turn? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Uh, I don't quite need that yet. Okay, I am going to, I'm going to play blindfold, which requires us to flip oh. over our cards. I remember this one from the last game. That was in my hand. I never played it because I was too uh, scared. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal. We're going to now flip up. We flipped all of our cards down except the card blindfold. And we are going to... Our opponent is going to flip over a card one by one. And so we'll start with me. Is that how it says? Okay. Once during your turn, you may require all players to flip all of their cards face down in place. Do not flip blindfold. Starting with you. So yeah, starting with me and proceeding clockwise. Players must take turns guessing the name of one card and flip it face up. And if they are right, they may discard that card. If they are wrong, they must discard one of their cards. Mm. Blindfold cannot be discarded during this process. Oh, gosh. Okay, so here's the deal. This is a huge advantage to the owner. Yeah. Because I have been not, I have been paying attention. So I drew this first. I think firsthand. Mm. And so I've semi been paying attention to the cards he's laid down. Now, I'm pretty sure I'll get one of them wrong, but I think I can go three for four and wipe out his field. Hold on. Is that, can it be any card? No, we take turns and we flip cards. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we only do one card? Starting with you and proceeding clockwise, play your to get the name of one card. But it can be any card, so I can guess my own cards to flip them back up. It says just pick one card. Pick one card and flip it face up. If they are right, they may discard that card. If they are wrong, they may discard one of their cards. Okay, so we're going to flip all cards. 
and we're gonna guess. So I'm gonna guess Druid is this card. That was a Druid. Okay. Now the key here is I only have one other um, white okay. card. I have to have another air card on the field. Now here's the question. Do I still get to use my abilities of my cards while they're upside down? No. Well, they, they'll, they'll be turned right back up once we're done. Okay, because I have one card that protects cards once they die. I don't think you get to... Let's check the rules. I don't think you would. I don't know what we would check in the rules for that. Okay, I'm going to say that this one is... Face down. Go, uh, search face down in the rules. Oh, my Mac is turned off. It'll get there. Um, is face, face down? Yeah. Keep going. See if there's another. There's, there's only one instance of face down in the rule book. Okay. Uh, I'm. I'll allow it because it, it doesn't say it, so I'll allow you because okay. I know it's a plus four roll. It's kingdom. You're gonna use kingdom, right? No, no, no. I was going to say, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, I would assume that we're not allowed to do anything during the process, except there is a card that I know right. you can play from your okay. hand to save a card. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, if I roll a four plus, yeah, that's fine. then she stays. She's, then she stays. And so she lives. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I got to remember which card is in which place. What's sad about this is I don't remember which of my cards is in which place. Right. So you don't know any of my cards. No, but I'm I'm gonna guess my cards. Okay, you really just to want save to them. Figure out which one you want to keep most. Right. Because I'm I'm fairly certain I can do two or three of them. I can't remember the name of. I remember one. that one. I, I think I, I think I remember one. that. I'm gonna say, and I can't remember which place they're in either. So I'm going to say this one is Kingdom. Dang it! <laughs> now here's the advantage. He doesn't have to throw away this one. He has to throw away one of his cards. But he saved this one from me flipping it over. Yeah. Okay. Um, In clarification, I was going to say Pestle and Mortar when I flipped this card. Would that mm. have counted or no? No. I don't think... We'll <laughs> get it correctly. I'm going to throw out... They're both gone. This one. I'm going to say this one is Kingdom. Yeah, that's true. And that's what I was going to call that one, too. Dang it. That... Oh, man. So those are both in his discard pile now. Yep. Better start going for mine, bro. I better start going for mine. I need you to be wrong about mine. I can't. I got to remember what cards you have. <laughs> yes, such a good card. I'm never playing this card again. That card, yeah, now I see that card is not as risky as I thought it was. Because the owner that plays that is gonna look at them all. Yeah, I, what's problem is I didn't look at them. I know what this oh. one's called. I know what this one's called. I. I know that's your character, but I can't remember what your character's name is. It's a weird name. Oh, uh, that's what it is. I'm good. I know all my cards. The struggle here is that you have to guess. Right. Um, I'm going to say this one is Wildwood. Frozen. Frozen. That's right. I remember that one now. So now you have to discard one of your cards. Oh, this sucks. All right. Well, I guess I'm more discarding. <laughs> I have no cards now. This is called Windmill. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one is. It's the first card I played. Yeah, I'm trying. It's tongue twister related. I just feel bad that I wiped out your whole name. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I'm gonna say Wildwood. Net. Net. That's right. You have Dang. Wildwood in your hand. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> okay, I believe it is Undyne. U N D I N E. Oh, it is. It's oh, okay. Dang it. That's right. I couldn't okay. remember the character. Yeah, yeah. So Undyne is still at a zero, even though his card is gone. Yeah. 
All right. It's your turn. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I gotta do some coming back. Oh, interesting. I feel like this card is un incomplete. I feel like there's something I don't know. Okay, um, I've got, I don't have a whole lot right now, so I'm going to play Mirror Lake. Oh, F Mirror Lake. That's yep. a great card. Okay, go ahead. And I got nothing else to do. You don't want to use Mirror Lake's ability? Do you not know? Uh, actually, it says, once during your turn, if you can give an example of two homographs in your other tongue, you may duplicate one of your other cards on a three plus. So we played that wrong last game. Yes, we did. <laughs> I mean, we didn't use it. Like, I didn't use the ability, but we did play right. that wrong. Okay. So I will draw. And I will have... I am going to play Archangel. Archangel is a character who has the same ability as Kingdom. So at any time, I may speak the name of a god, goddess, or other deity in your other tongue mm. to let Archangel or another field card stay on a, a, on a plus four. So I'd still have to roll a four or higher, and a field card is anything down here. All right. Okay. Okay. And then I will... I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to draw. Yeah. All right. Once during your turn... Hmm. Don't know if right. I like that card. You can give an example. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play borrow. Okay. Um, if you can give an example of a loan word or calc between one player's mother tongue and your other tongue, or vice versa. You may exchange one of your field cards with one of their field cards on a 4+. plus. So essentially, I just have to say a loan word in French. <clears throat> and... What was the one I used last game? It doesn't matter if I... Telephone. Um, if you can give an example... Uh, you may exchange one of your field cards with one of their field cards on 4+. plus. Um, and I'm going to... Um, hmm. I kind of want to keep Mirror Lake, though. Uh, but I... Uh, Give me Mirror Lake. Okay, I'm gonna trade borrow for Archangel. Uh, at a plus four. Oh, uh, plus four. And it fails. It sucks to suck. It does suck to suck. That is correct. In words of a great philosopher that I once knew. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Life sucks, then you die. That, that sums <laughs> it up. <laughs> hmm. Um, I'm going to
I'm going to play hmm. I'm going to play Shapeshifter. This character says once during your turn you if you give an example of double speak in your other tongue, you may change Shapeshifter into a duplicate of another character on the field. Hmm. So it's They're basically like, like a crappy mirror lake. Well, mirror lake would essentially add like a second frozen right here for yeah. point count reasons. Whereas I could change into Archangel and use her effects, I think. You add a duplicate. I think mirror lake also duplicates the the abilities. The abilities, yeah. Okay. All right. You gonna do anything? seem like that ah uh, well yeah no not yet okay all right what's this guy do once during your turn i guess maybe i'll show some i should, probably should have been showing these to the if you can read that or not i guess not okay if you can give an example of hmm Uh, I don't know how to use that. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Tell us again. Oh, jeez, I should have played this earlier. Okay. Seance. Once during your turn, if you can speak the name of an extinct language in your other tongue, you may shuffle one character from any discard pile into any deck. Oh, actually, that doesn't help me as much as I thought. I thought it gives me one of my characters back. It just yeah, puts it I don't like that, that it puts those back into the deck. Yeah. Well, it would be better if... If we were playing with separate decks. That's a card that you put in when you're playing with your just your own deck. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, I'll do it anyways. And I will say... Latin. You can probably figure out what that one means. I could, because I had that card last game, and I almost said the exact same thing. Hmm. And it said pretty much the exact same way. Boom shakalaka. Shakala bagla. Uh okay. I'm out. I'm gonna think of another loan word or calc between my mother tongue and my other tongue. And I'm going to say You only do that if you want to switch. Right. And I do want to switch one. Mm -hmm. Um I'm going to say uh, let's see. Internet. Internet. Man, shocking. <laughs> shocking. All right, and I'm going to switch Seance with. Do I want this one? It's a character, whatever. I don't care. I want a character. And it's worth a point, so. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so I have a confession to make. During, oh, I'm sorry. What's your turn now? Yeah, you're dead. Okay. I have a confession to make. I did realize that I finally did play a character and I had not been listening or playing by the rules. Uh, I realized that Net is still here and I never did anything with it. Oh, so no. that's on me. Okay. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll have to turn both of my characters down. Well, once no, a turn. Thing. It's a pretty common thing. Right. Um, now, the thing is, the thing about a lot of card games is I didn't catch that. Okay. So since I didn't catch it, it's actually on me. Okay. But okay, so I've got one. Ray Nong, Ray Yong, Roy Et. <laughs> that is a tongue twister and tie to practice your R sounds. Makes sense. Ray Nong, Ray Yong, Roy Et. All right. So this now switches property ownership oh, to him, to and oh. if he cannot next turn name one of these then this card will be turned down oh. and when your card is turned down your effects no longer work gotcha okay now he probably knows a few but we'll see how many he knows 
Yeah, I can think of at least one. <laughs> okay, are you done? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to play Dreamcatcher. If a point could be subtracted from one of your characters, you may prevent it by translating the word nightmare into another language. All right. Now I have to say a tongue twister, and I'm gonna say, si ton ton ton, ton 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 ton, ton 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 sera ton dit. Just because I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means because you said the exact same word like eight times. <laughs> si ton ton ton, ton 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 ton, ton 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 sera ton dit. If your uncle shaves your uncle, your uncle will be shaved. <laughs> I know. It's Bring your French people, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's awesome. Okay. Um, and I don't get anything for it. I you, just... Know, you just... Okay, so if you fail to do this, you mm. have to turn down a character. Okay. So, yeah. You don't get anything for it, but it transfers ownership back to me. Okay. So it says, if you say a tongue twister successfully, you may pass it to another player, turn it down, or discard it. Or you could discard it. The question is, do oh. I know another tongue twister and tie... And yeah. who will run out of tongue twisters? And if I can first? think of, if, and if you send it back to me, will I be able to say another tongue twister? So you have to decide can you have another tongue twister? But really, mm. the bigger gamble is whether I know another tongue twister or not. Because I, I could know another tongue twister, but yeah, I, I can't think of any other tongue twisters in French, and I should. Wait, does it have to be in my, in your other tongue? Yeah, because oh, I could give you 50 in Spanish right off the top of my head. Um, I can't think of any other tongue twisters in French, so I'm going to discard that one. Sad you hear the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, now, what he also could have done at this point is turned it down, because what he did do there is throw away a point. Oh, that's true. But I could have... I There are cards that I can use to turn up cards on his side of the board. Right. So if he always takes the risk. Yep. Okay, so my turn? Yep. And I will... Just out of curiosity, if, if I had given that back to you... Cry, Kai, Guy, Guy. Oh. Well, I'm <laughs> glad I didn't give it back to you. Kai. 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 Guy. Kai. Who sells chicken eggs? <laughs> yes. Nice. They're very, very close words, very different tones, very mm -hmm. different letters. Right. I actually, I feel like I either already drew or I overdrew because I know I played a card every turn. Yeah. That's just fine. Just go with what you have. This video is getting I'm just going to, yep. Well, I assume you're going to edit it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and play Young Fawn. Um, and I'll probably never use his thing. I just need another character for points. <laughs> What's <Go> he do? <laughs> Once during your turn, if you can say an idiom in your other tongue, you may turn a character up or down. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. Um, I just can't think of any idioms right now. You know what he means by an idiom? Uh, yeah. Oh, what he means? No. <laughs> I, I mean, I assume he just means like a, just a, a saying. Like yeah. A, um, oh, go up, go up, go up. He's got a dictionary somewhere. In it here. was up, it was up. Well, I'll just look it up in here. Idiom. Okay, there are many types of idioms categorized by, among other factors, their transparency. Generally speaking, an idiom is a figure of speech with an actual meaning not based on the literal meaning of the words. Yeah. Okay. So like raining cats and dogs. Yes. It means something, but it has nothing to do with cats and dogs. I learned one once, and it was like a monkey peeling a banana, but I don't remember how to <laughs> say it. Well, then it's good to know, because if you do say it, I'm going to challenge you on that one. All right. Um, I forget who's talking Oh, I do remember one. Okay. Okay, I'm good. All right, is it my turn or your turn? Yeah. It's your turn. Okay, my Sorry. turn. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't answer that question. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have no idea how to say this word. 
Uh, once during your turn, if you can translate. I'm trying to think. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to play, I don't know how to say this word, in my mother tongue. N-A-I-A-D. Nayad? Nayad. Nayad? Nayad? Once during your turn, if you can translate the name of another player's card into another language, oh, you may add or subtract one point from it. Now, it doesn't say your other tongue. It says another language. So another language being other than English. I assume, yeah. Yeah, other than your other than your mother tongue. Okay, that's fair. All right, and so I'm gonna get rid of. Dang, gag of Spanish. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna. <laughs> um, el fauno joven. Huh? El fauno joven. I'm gonna challenge that. Because I feel like I'm just going to gamble on the fact that you're not saying it right. All right. Now, here's what happens in a challenge. If I f challenge falsely, I have to discard a card. If he loses the challenge, he has to discard a card. <clears throat> All right. So I watched or I listened to the audiobook of Chronicles of Narnia in yeah. Spanish. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's how they said fawn in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if I'm What did you say again? El Fauno Joven. El Fauno Joven. I'm going to let you go to Google Translate. No, I trust you completely. Okay. We're going to go to Google I just think Translate. he was guessing more than anything. I, <laughs> I I promise you I listened to the Chronicles of Narnia in Spanish. This is the best, uh, All right. this is the best one you got is Google Translate. That's not correct. El Joven El Fauno. Joven fauno. Um, That's just switched around from what you said. Well, essentially in Spanish, yeah, Google Translate is not a good. But that's what those are the words you said, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. You're in good. Spanish, you put the the. Um, you're good. Adjective. Those, they yep. they got them mixed up, but right. you're good. But we'll say that that at Google Translate for Thai, no bueno. Right. <laughs> no it, bueno. Okay. I wouldn't use it except for the fact that this was a whole phrase. You can use dictionaries for yeah. the words. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to discard my young fawn because he was um, dead. It, it's, uh, you may add or subtract one point from it. Oh, okay. So he. No, oh, but I challenged. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you added or subtracted one point from him. Yeah, I'll discard him. Okay. I mean, we should yeah, just you, set the discards choose, right here. You choose which card you... Oh, yeah, so he did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that's a cool card. I like that. Okay, so whose turn is it? Uh, I played that. Oh, I've not been using my Mirror Lake. Okay, once you're in turn, if you can give an example of two homographs, and there's a ton in French. Um, you can duplicate a card. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to um, try to duplicate Archangel. Right. Oh man, the arch is killing me. Yep. Um, I'm going to translate, or I'm going to try to duplicate Archangel. Um, and so I have to say two homographs, and those are words that are spelt the same, but mean different words. Yes. Um, in, in the case of Thai, I think we said, as long as they're pronounced the same. Yeah. Because I'm not sure about Thai spelling. Um, okay. So, what two words am I going to use? Uh... Interesting. Ku Interesting. and ku. So ku meaning neck and ku meaning a blow. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate my archangel, and I'm just gonna put this under him in order to represent duplicating him. Okay. Uh, oh, it's alright. It has to be on a 3+. Plus. And I get it. Okay. Go ahead, Grin. Okay, so I am going... <clears throat> I'm going to draw. Yep, because that seems reasonable. Okay, I'm going to play Archer. Okay. I'm going to gamble on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Archer's effect. Once during your turn, if you could translate a verb. On another card into a into another language, you may turn that card down. Alternatively, if you can translate that verb into two languages, you may discard that card. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm going to go at Archangel. Yep. For speak. Okay. It says speak isn't speak a language, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say habla. Yep. And put. Okay. Put being the word for Thai, habla, for those who don't speak, even the most basic of Spanish mean. Well, I'm not going to call you out on the Did Thai I pronounce it wrong? Oh, you can, you can call me out on Thai. It's right. Yeah, um, I was like, I'm not going to call, call you out I'm not going to call you out on the Thai, because that's a basic enough word that you can... <laughs> That's an easy word. Yeah. Okay, so now so, this... So, when the, a Mirror Lake's original copy goes away, it the, when the original card goes away, the copy goes away as well. No, it was if Mirror Lake is discarded. Oh, the copy is discarded. The copy is discarded. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we're, we just combined our discard files. I don't know if that makes a difference, because sometimes I think it says grab a card out of your discard pile, but too late now. We already combined it. It's our it. discard pile. Yeah. I, I feel like since it's one deck, it's one discard pile. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright. Ooh, this is one I should have had earlier. Alright, Candles. Each time you translate a word correctly, oh, that's a good one. Uh, you add, you may add a point to one of your cards. All right. Oh gosh. Um, okay. Okay, uh, so first I'm going to say, um, okay. okay. Got to do this in the right order, I think. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to keep my Archangel there. Be oh, no, dang, okay. The rules. The I don't rules. Think of, you get the. Do you get the effect? This is what we couldn't decide last game. Yeah. Is do you get the effect on your duplicate? It doesn't say. It just says duplicate the card. It doesn't say anything yeah. about. Yeah, it's an archangel. We know what it is. It's plus four. Okay. Um. So to clarify, it's still gonna have the same word on it, right? right? Okay. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. So you can do. Yep. Yeah, you can do the same thing. That's what I was gonna say. We could switch it, but it's not gonna be that long. It's yeah, fine. Right. <laughs> Um, although I forgot that I could have protected it by saying the name of a deity with a four plus, um, but I'll remember that this time. Okay, I'm going to do a mirror lake and I'm going to mirror my archangel. I feel like we're going to get into that. <laughs> I sense um, it. Okay, so I got to think of another... 
Uh, homograph. Yeah, another homograph. Uh, uh, what's another one? I'm just excited to play, bro. Gosh, maybe I can't. I thought there was a ton of them in French. Now I'm, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a Quebec. Uh. Quebec French is still French, bro. Yep. You do need to decide what French you're playing in now. <laughs> okay. Because like, English and then Amer British English and American English, and so you need to decide what French you're playing in. So. In Quebec. The word P, P I S, okay. means it's it's a conjunction. It means like, and so. Okay. <clears throat> Paga. Yeah, and it also is piss. P, P I S. P. Mm -hmm. It's pronounced P. Yeah. And piss. No, it means the two things. Okay. Cool. All right. I accept it. All right, so Let's just bring back the archangel card. All right, so essentially, <laughs> so we have two archangel cards, but, but there's if also light goes away, then they both die. Then they both die. But we also have there is also an archangel card in the graveyard, in the discard yeah. pile. To, yes. You have to remember that. Yes. Okay. Um. So that I used that one. Uh, I'm going to do one turn in your turn. If you can translate the name of another player's card into another language, you may add or subtract one point from it. Uh, if you can tell me the uh, yeah. Spanish word for that, <laughs> um, that would be super. Which, that he has minus one clarification, that's already a zero. Right. I'm only keeping that for the minute I want to play. I don't think they can go below zero. They so can't. I'm going to say four. Frozen is helado. 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 Any challenges? And that, and that's in Spanish. Does it say your other tongue or does it say any it other? It says into another language. Yep. No, I get it. You're solid. All right. Do you know how to say frozen in French? Just out of. Um. You would guess. How do you say frozen? I don't know how to say frozen. Glacé. 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 Okay. Oh, that's like iced. I don't know if that means frozen or... Oops, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm starting to lose a lot of points here, which ain't cool. Alright, and I also have... I just did two translations. Well... I mean, it can't go... No, I just did one translation, actually. Okay. Um. So each time you translate a word correctly, you may add a point to one of your cards. And that's going to go on... Her. Yep, go ahead. Okay. What's your windmill do again? Oh, dang. That's too bad, my. Where's my windmill, dude? Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. I'm going to play Quill and Ink. Okay. I want to start my turn. Can I borrow a pen? <clears throat> Oops, sorry. If I have uh, a, a character, I may assign them X amount of extra points up to six. Mm -hmm. If I can write... One word, one word per language. Like so, if I can write hi. Oh, jeez. Hi. Yep. Oh boy, you better hope I don't ever get that card. <laughs> I pretty much pray you don't. Hola. Yep. I believe the trick is writing it. I think you have to write it in the actual language. You can't write it phonetically. Does it say right? It says you have yeah, to Yeah, because it? it's quill and ink. It says you have oh. to write. Oh, so I can call you out if you misspell bonjour. 
Yeah, I know. I mean, I can say, <laughs> I can say a lot of them. Yeah. I just can't write them in there. That's true. I think that's it. I can, <laughs> I can say it. I chose the yep, wrong yep. word, man. Okay, I'm just trying to think here if I know any more. You know what word you should have chosen? No. I know. For real. <laughs> I mean, I got it next turn. I can do that. Oh, wait. This is every turn? Once during your turn. Oh, my goodness. The trick is writing. That's why it's hard. Write any one word and X number of different numbers. You can write six. And add X number of points. Wow. That's insane. Once during your turn. Okay. Okay. As at least... Okay, so I'm just gonna go with adding three points. That's still three points is a lot. To my archer. Okay. Uh, plus two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Plus three. I'm just gonna write my next words onto this. These guys' points are gonna be All the right. same. Hold so, on. Go ahead. Oh, were you gonna do something to stop me? No, no, no. I was gonna say at this point the video is an hour long. I'll probably edit it down a little bit, but um. The point of this video is just to get the, the gist of the game, and I think people have gotten that. So I'm going to end this video right here. Yeah. And maybe we'll make an announcement at the end of the game to see show who won. Yeah. Um, but that's it for now. Over and out. Okay, so we're almost done with the game. Uh, three cards left. Kuhn wiped out all of my cards with his blindfold. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fold the game now. No, man, you gotta, you got. What, you okay, all right, I'll, I'll draw the last card. Levitation. If one of your characters would be yeah. turned down, I have no cards left. Those are your five cards in your hand. Ah. Well, oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I won't make you play that. You don't have to play that. Uh, well, I don't have anything good to play, anyways. Yeah, I am just going to fold. <laughs> Cuz I, I have there's two turns left in the game. I have nothing. And I just have to get I have to get 7 points in order so to So far. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that's it. That's the game. Uh it's interesting for sure. Uh I don't that's it. I guess I don't have anything else to say about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh we did a review, so uh watch that if you're interested in the game.